Back home from my doctor's appointment, you gotta wash my hair. For my appointment, it's 12 o'clock right now, so. I'm getting my hair done because it is spring break. Oh, you look good, girl. You look gorgeous. You like I like it? it. I think you look nice. Get the runway. Good. Get it. Hair is done. Lisa's getting her hair done right now. Okay, this is for the baby section over here. As you can see, two ninety eight. dollars Yes, ma'am. That's my price. We leave in less than 24 hours on vacation, and we don't have not one suitcase packed. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about the ways just Listen y'all I was thinking about the ways to invite y'all in So that you guys are like entertained So I was like what's going on guys Welcome back to the Henry Family Channel I am Sylvia That just hurt it <laughs> Why did I just hit myself death <laughs> Okay we're just gonna go back to basics Hey guys what's going on Welcome back to the Henry Family Channel. Of course, I am Sanvia, and this is my handsome, lovely, amazing, wonderful, strong, protective, nurturing husband, Antoine. What's good? And we have a very busy day ahead of us, you guys. You gotta we, go get your what check? I gotta go get my sugar check for a gestational diabetes test at the oh, at the midwife today. So. Sweating, sweating, my sugar would not be high if sweat, I'm sweating because you keep giving me all of your sugar. All this chalk, y'all. My husband is just being funny this morning. We are headed, we have so many things because we go, oh we literally fly out of the we country got, got tomorrow. Like yes, we do. We got like one or two things, Listen, just gotta spread out. We have lots of things to do and we leave tomorrow, you guys. So, right now is Monday morning, it is 9 30. No, please do not stop at Whole Foods. Don't pass go. Don't collect two hundred dollars. Go straight to the midwife's office. Really? Y'all, I have so much stuff to do. So we got to go to this midwife appointment. It's usually about an hour, uh, but I'm gonna try to see if we can cut this down. But I want to record for you guys so you guys can kind of see the atmosphere. But again, we are pressed for time. After that, we got to come back home. I have to go take me and the girls to go get pedicures today. Then we have, I have a hair appointment at two o'clock. Then Lisa has a hair appointment at five o'clock. And then our suitcases are not even packed yet. So when I tell you like, it's a lot. And Antoine, my husband, he's fine with it. Like he can definitely handle it. But me, my, my anxiety just be like, you have so many things to do with so little time. So, and he's like, we're gonna get it done. And I'm like, we always get it done. But it's like, man, like the last minute preparation stuff really just, it makes me so uncomfortable and if i'm just being honest like it's i like to do things on time and it just i just couldn't i was not feeling the best this weekend so just relax you i'm relaxed you gotta stop giving that you're speaking that into existence i'm you not giving it to existence no, what did i speak into existence okay all right thank you baby one, one step at a time thank you so much baby it's gonna be good we're gonna do it um lisa's photo shoot is tomorrow morning and then we actually <laughs> get on the road and drive to the airport so it's, it's it's a little bit busy but we're gonna get it done so we are headed here i don't think my mother is going to be able to come on this trip i shouldn't even speak that i should just wait and call her right absolutely right i shouldn't even speak that Right, I should stop doing that. Listen, let me get off of here and get into my workshop before we head to this doctor's office, y'all, this midwife's appointment, because I can feel like my anxiousness coming through the screen. <laughs> I'm relaxed. I'm cool. I'm chilling. I'm cool. I'm all right. And I just realized you didn't have your contacts on. Why didn't you put your contacts on? That's what I be trying to tell you. I'm not in the mood. No, that's, that's, not, that's what I be trying to tell not, you. That's what I be trying to. That's what I be trying to tell you. That's what I be trying to tell you. Your body is mine. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even referring about that. I'm see, referring see, to your your mind is all the way like. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. Even, if y'all looking at this skirt, yes, I'm gonna keep wearing this skirt. This is my business. Got a little lint stuff on your butt. <laughs> Got a little lint stuff back there.
right guys so i'm in the bathroom obviously but i wanted to take you guys behind the scenes just to see how it is it's just like going to an ob's office um i'm right here i'm gonna go ahead and do a urine sample when you come into the office immediately or whenever you're ready you'll just go ahead and use the bathroom and you'll also do your urine sample and dip your urine and make sure you don't have any protein in your urine any of those good things or sugar in your urine all those stuff so we're gonna go ahead and do that and i just wanted to tell you guys this is the testing kit right here that i'm gonna take there it is right there and then i'm going to swab it and test it Oh my gosh, I hate hearing all that. Right. Like, because you're aged right. and oh my like, God, how you many have babies? babies? Right. Mm -hmm. Like, are you like, serious? Like, those aren't real risk factors, people. Right. Are you serious? You haven't right. even been doing this before, right? Like, <laughs> Especially having other great births, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I hear it. Like, I am having life. <laughs> um, but we talk about how people will share, like, what, um, their bad experiences mm -hmm. no one talks about hey i had this great meal right you guys should try this place often right instead they're like oh i just had the worst experience right. let me tell everybody isn't that funny how that happens mm -hmm. but people started to share they were like you're not alone my my ob brought me too they did this too because i decided to have a homework and a lot of people was like yeah they're not getting that money from the birds and i was right. like oh my god people do know this stuff mm -hmm. yep. so she just did some blood work so she can check my sugar my glucose um she's about to listen to baby so we can hear baby and um and we're just doing a whole lot of talking and stuff like that i love coming here because it makes me feel like i'm not rushed it makes me feel like i'm being heard it makes me feel like it's patient first it's about the client you know what i mean um we're family we talk about a lot of things she asked me how's i'm feeling like how i'm feeling and she kind of genuinely cares like you know you get a really a sense of like she cares even if she can't even if she don't I just feel like she care. You know what I mean? And this guy's over here just making jokes. You enjoying yourself? You look handsome, baby. Thank you. I like your shoes. Thank you so much. Do you have a hat on because you don't have a haircut? No, I just got a Yeah, hat sure. Sure. I like the song Pepper going on on your face. It looks nice. You look nice. No, I definitely like it. You can. Sh your wisdom is showing, baby. I love it. All right, I'm drinking water, guys, because she's going to go ahead and test out my urine. So I'm gonna drink some water so I can pee again. Feel triplets. Oh, so the anatomy guys scan. Die. Right. There was a there was a couple dots in there. Whatever. <laughs> we went to the anatomy scan and he kept saying, "So there's not more than one in there. There's not." They were like, "No." You're really trying to manifest this, huh? <laughs> I promise oh, hi, you, baby. Look at that, right this there. So that's one. Baby, kicking <laughs> and moving. That's what. Got lots of. You feeling a lot on this side yes. right here? Yeah, mm -hmm. I just kind of like moved a foot out of the way. So that's wow. two. <laughs> just two feet. Just two. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No triplets. Okay. Did you get the anatomy scan results? Yes, and I need to pull them up because um, it has like what your due date is on there. Oh, does it? Okay. So you need to like. I don't have. That's it. Oh, and did we did we get the what is it called? DNA. What is that called? The genetic testing. Yes. Let me. I'll pull it all up okay. in the iPad right there. So you know the sex of the baby. Um, I haven't looked at it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so matter, no matter how much you no. beg. I'm going to just look at the paper. <laughs> mm -hmm. We didn't put it in the chart. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see where we can find this baby. 
Hey, that's the boy. So like clearly moving all over. Right. That's what that little like record skin sound is. Okay. There we go. Wow. Oh man. Somebody's gonna be all over this, after this, this one. This, <laughs> this this one's gonna be like the kicker that really gives you all the gray hairs. Oh my god. I thought we already had those. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna doctor's appointment you guys hurry up and took my clothes off because i'm about to wash my hair for my appointment it's 12 o'clock right now so we will say yes we shall see i'm gonna wash i i'm just i feel very tired i feel tired and i feel like overwhelmed a little bit because i have so much stuff to do but let's go ahead and wash my hair i'm gonna go ahead and be using the taraji tph Let's get started. 12.15 and we're still washing hair. We're still washing hair. Okay, 12.30. Hey guys, hey, don't judge me. Come on in with me to come get my hair done. I know I look a little crazy, but y'all, I'm getting my hair done because it is spring break and we are taking our kids out on vacation, y'all. We are going to visit two countries. Did you hear me? Not one, but two. And I'm over here deciding if I should get some baby hairs because y'all always be in the comments like, I don't like the baby hairs. I don't like the baby hairs. But anywho, like, listen, as a Henry, it's one thing is for certain and two things are for sure. We definitely gonna go ahead and break those stereotypes and take our large family. People always think that they see a bunch of kids like they will be going on vacation and wrong not them henry's we always be taking our kids on vacation y'all and the hair is hairing okay how it look y'all oh you look good girl you look gorgeous you like i like it? it i think you look nice oh my turn around let everybody see get it girl go get it get it get it drop it down drop it down if you could drop it down let me see i drove down with you <laughs> now let's go up let's go up because i ain't, I ain't leg day was crazy yesterday <laughs> You look good though. Do you like it? I love it. Do y'all like it? They like it. They like it. It look good. Definitely. It look good. Let me it back up. Good. Let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Now rip the runway. Rip the runway. Good. Get it. Get it. Now, <laughs> you look good. Thank you, baby. Wow. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see if we get your feet done. Let's go. Oh. All right, guys. So hair is done. Lisa's getting her hair done right now. <sighs> it's been a day, y'all. It's been a day. We are excited. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I don't know about baby. I'm exhausted. Um, as I'm joining in the camera, we're about to go home. I think I'm going to try to take a nap before we pack. We leave in less than 24 hours. Help me. All right, guys. So we have everyday low prices, and I'm in here because we're about to go on vacation. So I'm just trying to get some outfits for Layla. Look at that. So you're telling me a uh, $8 outfit right here, y'all. If y'all need clothes for y'all kids, come to Walmart and come get these. They also have some really cute dresses and stuff. We just went to Target and just spent $300 on two little baby clothes and came over here. So yeah, all that Target stuff is about to go back because they got all of this stuff right here. This is my price range. Do you hear me? And if it's y'all price range, get to Walmart. Like don't walk. I'm gonna need y'all to run. Run to Walmart. Okay, little boy stuff, little boy stuff. Okay, all right, y'all. Okay, this is for the baby section over here. As you can see, 
$2.98. Yes, ma'am. That's my price. That's Miss Henry Price. Yeah, that's too small for her. She gonna need six to nine months, baby. She almost 12 months. Baby girl be 10 months tomorrow. It's 12 months, right? No, she fits, yeah, so let's get 12 months, y'all. Y'all, $6 dresses? Come on now, come on now. Mm -hmm. That looks good. We are back home, guys. And I am tired, but I have to do some work over here. Because we leave in less than 24 hours on vacation. And we don't have not one suitcase packed. So I'm about to go ahead and do that. Before I do that, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I bought from Amazon, okay? So I bought these like organizers, they're luggage organizers. So when you are putting your clothes in your in your suitcase or your book bag or whatever you have to travel with, it's convenient to you utilize these organizers, okay? I have my little helper over here. Okay, so this is really cute, guys. So I'm really unboxing it with you guys. I haven't looked at it. So this is a little bag that comes with it. So I guess right here, you can put all of your liquids, makeup yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Convenient. Okay. This is how the bags look. Okay. So they have them in all different sizes. So I ordered two packs of these because we're going to share them as a family. That's another one. Another size. So they kind of go in size order, kind of. And what are these? So another little bag. see and this is the, like a backpack kind of thing for sneakers and shoes and stuff i'm guessing and they gave us a couple of those oh, this one's different I'm not sure what goes in here and then another like little zip zipper bag what's that mama yeah. all right so i'm gonna lift this up so you guys can see it okay so it comes in three different sizes and it kind of tells you like so it gives you like a little label down here that tells you you can put your panties and bras in this one, underclothes, socks and stuff in this one. This one says t-shirts, any kind of shirts or shorts. This one also says shirts and shorts. And then this one can fit like jeans and jackets and sweaters, which is nice. Where we're going is going to be very, very warm. Thank you, Lord. I always say that to be on vacation, sweating hot and all that other stuff. Can I see that, Mama? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Of course, I'm You okay? You can't eat the paper. You can't eat the paper. You can't eat that. You can't eat that. You can't have that. So I'm about to come and pack up everyone's clothes. Hubby's went to go pick up Lisa to go get her from getting her hair done. And instead of taking a nap that I should be taking right now, I'm going to pack up the luggage. Okay. Went to Walmart the other day and got some underwear for the girls. Some really cute baby stuff, you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the baby stuff. Okay, that's more baby stuff. So, oh, and this should be Austin stuff. So I had to get Austin and Antoine and the baby some clothes from Walmart. Yeah. I got into the habit after I buy brand new clothes to put them in the washing machine just because I 
don't know. I just, I guess I got these, this new idea, like just buying brand new clothes and putting them on immediately. is just disgusting. I don't know. Is it just me or do you guys feel like that too? But, um, it's hard to wash everything, especially right now because we have travel in less than 24 hours. So I'm not going to be washing anything. I'm going to be get ahead and packing up these brand new clothes that we got from Walmart. Okay. But if you just think about it. Think about like the clothes, the travel, like a lot of these clothes are made in China, right? Or like Indonesia. And then they are made in different climates and different environments that are not the most ideal, the most healthiest environment. And then they are shipped and packaged and have to go through customs. And then they get ahead and get into the production store, whatever store um, that you buy your clothes from, right? And then they go directly on the shelf. They get hung on hangers and they get hung on the shelf. So then they're being open to different, just different bacteria and different things in the, in the air. And people are then going to touch the clothes and things like that. And then you go and you buy the clothes, right? And then you put these clothes on your body. Y'all, like to me, it just in my brain, and it's just Sanvia, but... I will I just think that's just disgusting. That's just me. That's just my take about it. it. And literally, I used to always do it. Like, but literally this past year, I'm like, wait a minute, is there a better way to do this? You know what I mean? Like, wait a minute. And I think I really started to get the hang of it. Like when you go and buy clothes and you realize like somebody already tried this on, you have deodorant marks on the clothes and stuff like that. It's like wait a minute i should really be washing my clothes before so i just want to put that out there so i typically would do it right but i'm not now because we're in a rush i probably will wash them when we're on vacation because guess what our airbnbs have wash and dryer why because we have seven children who we are traveling with like if you think we're going to be able to travel for any extended time without a washer and dryer no honey uh-uh do you hear me like that that's a no-go not for them henry's okay but let me be quiet so we can do it so i'm gonna try to see if this little bag can hold how much clothes can it hold okay i'm so tired and i really lisa has her photo shoot in the morning so i'm gonna try to pack up these clothes you guys and take my shower roll up this hair and go to bed I'm not even gonna eat dinner tonight but this is some of the stuff I got from Walmart for Antoine's shirt. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to roll this stuff up really small. Just because I want it to really fit in there. Like, I'm going to do the roll technique. So I'm going to roll up all of his shirts that we just bought. And then we bought some shorts for him too. And prayerfully, his underwear are down here too somewhere in this pile. I don't see him right here in front of me. Those are shorts very good okay i see so i see one pair of underwear i see another pair of shorts i see dad's that's dad's underwear um i can't do dingy like you know what i mean like when i see dingy clothes like this i'm like what what is this i i can't I'm like no I have so what I typically do is I have all of my kids who are obviously like of the age. This is this is dirty. We're not packing it. I have them go like the big kids can go in their room and I say go pick out five to six outfits and they will go and they always like shirts and shorts. Girls, you can do shirts and shorts or skirts or something like that. Go pick that out. If they wear skirts, they always wear shorts underneath their skirts. Why? Because they're little girls and they're always jumping up and down on some swings or stuff like that. And we don't need to see undies underneath your clothes. So make sure you have on shorts. So that's always a must for us. Um, but that usually helps, you know what I mean? So like even Antoine, Antoine, we always say, Antoine, go help Austin. So you go pick out Austin's clothes. And so what the big kids will do, what the big girls will do, will go and help and pick out the baby's clothes. But we typically know like the babies are the ones that are really growing out of everything. So they always need new clothes, especially when it's time for us to go on vacation. So that's that. So, so I just got three shirts right now and that don't sound right. I didn't see another Walmart bag downstairs, y'all. Yeah, it's a Walmart bag right here. But this looks like girly stuff. This looks like girly stuff, y'all. 
This is girly stuff. This is, I bought the big girl some stuff. Y'all. Where is the rest of his clothes that we bought from Walmart? This looks like Austin's clothes. It is Austin's. Okay. Antoine stuff. Okay. Like this bag still got room in this bag y'all this still has mad room in this bag i love that anton's bag so he still needs to get some stuff in there i'm gonna go ahead and pack austin's bag now cute little shorts shirt from walmart a lot of this stuff was on like three dollars each you guys they look so big for little austin but he's gonna be good three dollar shirts you guys shirts shorts <laughs> i'm trying to rush y'all so forgive me More shirts and shorts. Okay, only thing I didn't see in here was socks. But Austin's is done. I don't see pajamas either. Over here. Ah, got that packed. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and now start with the girls. I'm going to go ahead and pack both Leah and Libby stuff in this bag. And we just going to see how that works. So... We usually try to go on vacation with the kids. We typically travel like half of the year with our kids. Um, many people don't realize that. Um, what's the matter? Hi. Hi. I got a baby girl with me here. And she just threw her bow on the floor. Here's the dress for the girls. They got this like two years ago. But they're gonna, they now wear these as shirts. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack that. They wear these as shirts and they pair these with some jean shorts. And make it like a cute little outfit. Hi.
I'm about to do Reese's, but then I also ordered some backpacks too from Amazon. So I want to show you guys these backpacks. They don't look big at all. I asked them, do they want little luggages or do they want book bags? We usually carry big suitcases. And when I tell you that, it's a, it's a hassle. And then having to pay for all this luggage. So I'm packing book bags so that they can pack their stuff without us having to buy a bunch, pay for a bunch of suitcases. You know what I mean? It's expensive. It gets expensive. So I bought these book bags where they can get ahead and travel. Um, we realized we used to take so much clothes with us on vacation. And I promise you, going on vacation, like we don't even wear half that stuff. Hi, Leia. Hi, Mama. Hi. And this little bit bag got a bunch of compartments. I'm trying to figure out how you open it. So it opens up from both sides. Okay, so it has an opening down here. Looks like the bottom of the book bag where you can stuff stuff in it. I'm really trying to figure this out, you guys. Okay, so that's for that mid, that's for that bottom pocket, and this is for the top. And so they got a lot of zippers and compartments. I know it's hard to show you guys. Zippers and compartments. It has a charger. Lots of little compartments. This is what we're going to use. So everyone is going to have their own book bag, obviously. The big kids are going to have it, not the little ones like Austin. And then we're having little uh, suitcases like that. So we used to carry big suitcases, right? And pay the money to have it, um, you know, like a regular luggage. And when I tell you it gets expensive, we have a family of nine. It gets very expensive. So I'm just trying to do it more cost effective and see how it's better to do it. Last time we went on a family vacation um, and traveled out of the country, we went to Cancun, Mexico. And y'all, it was okay. But just traveling with those big luggages is just too much. And then we have a double stroller. It's just, it's just, it, comes, it becomes a bit much, if you know what I mean. So we're trying to just think of a better way. Like it's always like, that's in my back of my mind. I'm always thinking about creating systems for my family and learning how to do it better. Like, is there a better way that I can do this? Am I doing this the most effective way, the most efficient way rather? So we did book bags. I'm not sure if, if I'm loving these book bags. I'm not sure. And my idea is that I bought this to put into a book bag. But why would I use a bag to put into a bag? I don't know. But I don't know. I'm not I'm not sold on it. I'm not sold on it yet. So I'll, just give me a second to figure it out, y'all. Because I'm not sold on the idea of it. So I bought a couple. And this is Lisa's stuff right here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and try to put Lisa stuff in this suitcase without using one of those compartments to see if it's even worth it. Look at this tutorial, y'all. This is crazy. Uh, uh, that's not food. Get out of your mouth. Huh? They have a bunch of zipper pockets, which I like. They have a bunch of pockets, so we shall figure this out. Hey, guys. We got pajamas that we had last year. I'm not buying new pajamas. I mean, swimsuits. Go get pajamas for you for the suitcase. So go get pajamas, please. I don't have pajamas for you. 
Do I have pajamas for you? Do I have underwear for you? Go find underwear. I don't have underwear over here. What is this? Okay. You can put it right there for right now. That's fine. Sure, Leah, that's why I said go get it, honey. That's why I said I want pajamas, not that. I want pajama outfit. Yeah, well, you can turn that off now, honey. Ain't nothing wrong with you, mama. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't nothing. Hey, Layla. Layla, go in there with Livia. Hi. Oh, Jesus. I'm from my hair. <laughs> Which shoes are you packing, babe? Because I feel like we got too many bags. So are you packing? How many shoes? Can you get your shoes ready? <laughs> so how do these bags work? I don't really know. It's not really working. Oh, uh, it's not really working. That's all you have for some some thick old pajamas. Those like those bag that goes in and carry yeah. another bag. Yeah, but, but I'm thinking that it defeats the purpose because those book bags have mad compartments in it. So I think it defeated the purpose. I think that these are strictly for suitcases. So you can pack your suitcase like that, you see? Mm -hmm. And you can pack multiple people of clothes in there like that. Yeah, you can do that. And we can bring a couple backpacks because cause, and either way, we don't, they're carry-ons. Right, so... I just don't want to have a lot of bags, so. I mean, mm -hmm. it's mad compartments that they can put stuff in in here. So, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What you think? Do that? You can put them in there, but I mean, we might have a little bit. Right. But no, I'm saying, like, do you think I should just take out the stuff out of these yeah. and just put them directly in the bag? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lisa? Okay, Lisa, if you're not doing nothing, come on. What's she about to do? Right, they just came upstairs. Okay, Lisa, you can come and pack your own bag. You can start packing your own stuff in Lisa, your own bag. Lisa, come back your bag. Excuse me, what you want? All right, and I guess she can get washed up so she can, does she eat dinner? Before? No. She no. just had some oatmeal before we got left. Okay, so maybe she can, you know, get changed, eat dinner, so we can all go to bed. Like, I want us all to go to bed. Would you like me to do something, though? Yeah, you don't know what to do right now. You can help me pack this bag, then. Lisa, that's your pink bag. You've got so Why many compartments. Your give your father a hot soapy rag. Come here, Lily. Pajamas. Okay, can you take it off the hanger, sweetheart? Mom, which pajamas is the hot water? Do it downstairs. Your father downstairs? Yes. Go ahead and go do it downstairs. Let's use the hand soap. It is tight. Let me see. Turn that camera off, Lisa. All right, I see it. All right, guys. So um, when the kids came home, they really helped me out by repacking their stuff. I took everybody's stuff out of these bags mm -hmm. and just put it in their book bags. So the book bags have so many compartments and Austin have on underwear. Austin, go in your room. I'm recording. Go. Thank yeah. you. Hey, I have some new water. Yes, have a sip of your water and go in your room, please. All right, guys, so um, I'm packing up my stuff. I'm going to wear dresses a lot. My husband told me not to because I'm going to be hot and, like, we're going to be walking around and stuff. We're going to be going on tours and stuff. And when I tell you I don't have I don't have the energy to be putting on other stuff, I will bring these big old pair of shorts that I have. I say big because <laughs> obviously this is not my size. I'm, I'm normally, like, a size four, you guys. I know. I know. And now I'm kicking like a size 10, but that's okay. And I've been kicking a size 10 now for um, a couple of years because I've been having babies back to back. Nonetheless, big old shorts, okay? Don't wear these. I'm going to wear one of my friend's shirt. You can tie it up. Yeah, from my collection, okay? 
I'm gonna wear that. And then dresses, y'all. Like I literally have, this is a bathing suit cover-up. So like, I love cover-ups. I don't really love cover-ups, but now that I'm pregnant and I'm big, I wear cover-ups. And I'm not really big, but <laughs> I'm bigger than, you know, than my size. But this is a hack, right? Because I told you I'm not paying for no luggage, okay? I'm, I just refuse to. With, with all of us, nine of us, okay, we got two babies. So seven of us. Imagine paying $65 per suitcase times seven. How much is that? I'm just going to take it off the top of my head. Seven times six is 42. So that's not about $420, roughly. That's estimated. So it'll be like going one way, it'll be like, four hundred and twenty dollars that's crazy for seven people so going two ways and we're going to we're going to two different we're going to two different countries you guys so we literally have to fly to one country then fly to a different country then fly from that country back home so that's three separate flights that we will be taking so you times 420 times three what is that that's roughly around four eight twelve that's about twelve hundred and what 40 60 dollars that's that's a lot of money that's 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 over a thousand dollars just for luggage so we're not doing that you guys so we're gonna go ahead and do just our personal items and with okay that's fine and so i'm gonna just teach you guys this hack get your perfume i'm using valentino and i'm going to thank you baby go ahead and put it behind me thank you i'm going to go ahead and spray all of my clothes and my white stuff been hanging up in my closet and i can see how it's getting stained D does that happen to you guys like your white clothes just get like the stain with yellow so i think it's from like the dust and stuff it used to happen to me before like when you don't wear this stuff like i haven't wore this in probably like a year or maybe over the summer did you guys see that you see it mm. i know and it's just from just sitting in the closet on a hanger so I think that my, my mother used to teach me that you have to put it in a bag. Like you have to put it like a, a garment bag over your white stuff. Because when your white stuff is hanging up in your closet, it will turn yellow. It happened to me before. And I can see this. And I wore this dress like three times. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. So we're not going to take this one. So put that over there. We're not going to take this one. But I'm going to take this. This is another white one. I love white dresses, you guys. Especially for like warm weather. I love white dresses. So what I would usually do, take my perfume, wrong way, <laughs> and I would literally spray everything I have because why you cannot travel with this? This is over three ounces, so I don't want them to take my, my per perfume and throw it away. Yeah, this is 3.4 ounces, so it just missed it by three, you know, by 4.4 ounces, so... It's okay. I'm going to just spray all my stuff. The, the smell usually stays. And I'm going to pack it. Now, before I remember, like, there is a little perfume thing that you can get from Amazon where you can get ahead and, like, squeeze out three ounces and you can be able to pack it in your suitcase. But to me, this is a hack that I usually do. You know, suit, do whatever suits you, you know? I'm going to put that back, baby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to pack up my clothes, you guys. Like, I'm trying to. It's probably like, what time is it, Leah? It's nine o'clock, y'all. And what time do we leave? Well, tomorrow we don't have to get on the road until two. Tomorrow Lisa's photo shoot is at ten in the morning. So we'll do a photo shoot in the morning. <laughs> My husband and the boys are gonna get haircuts in the morning at ten. Ha 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 ha. And then they should be back home about noon. Lisa's photo shoot should be cut up like a wrap by noon. And then we can get on the road. We'll probably eat something. Well, not eat, we'll probably just clean up our house because I don't like to leave a dirty house. I do not like traveling, going, going places and coming back home to a dirty house. I do not like that. So we will clean up this house. I'm talking about vacuum rugs. We will make sure that garbage is all taken out. Food is out the refrigerator. We will make sure we do all of that. And what I would usually do is when I get back home, I will put a fresh Walmart order in that day. So by the time we get to our house, we have fresh groceries in our house. Like, I do not like coming home to a mess. It's just, it's the worst feeling. Traveling alone with seven children can be daunting. Even the idea alone is very daunting to me. And I have seven children, okay? But when seven I tell you, right, seven and a half at this point. 
when I tell you the best thing you can do for your own self, what I've learned is clean your house before you go on vacation. Don't you come back. Let me get this. Don't you, don't you leave a dirty house. I, I try to do that. Any, even when I'm going to church, uh-uh, after worshiping and, and giving it all to God during the church services, I don't want to come home to a dirty house because we was rushing out in the morning and didn't clean the dishes. You got the uh, shirt for it? The shirt? I just thought I did have it. Is it up there? Yeah, it's behind the chair, baby. Oh. So that's just my little hack, you guys, as I'm over here trying to. Like, after this, I'm about to, I still got to pack my, my husband's suitcase. He's downstairs doing, finishing up dinner with the kids and stuff. Who's in the shower? Because you got to take a shower. Okay. So it's supposed to be me, Antoine, Austin, Lisa. What is Lisa doing? Lisa's cleaning up her room all the time. What do you do? I got like a gym outfit because it does have a gym there. Not that I'm going to be working out, but um, you just have on gym clothes just to, you know. Yeah, like this one. I used to be like, would you guys believe me that I used to be a whole fitness like trainer? And when I tell you guys, I fitness was my thing for many years. And then I, I got pregnant. When I finally when I got pregnant with Layla, I think it was really the pandemic, you guys. Once I got the pandemic came, I just got so like sidetracked it. And then after that, it was just hard to pick back up on the pace. Don't wear this dress for so I probably uh, out for dinner? Probably. I mean, whatever dresses I have, I'm going to be honest, they are just like, they're going to be whatever dresses. Yeah. I'm not going to be, I used to be going on vacation, changing outfits, one for the morning, one for the night. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, we're doing one outfit per day. Take this one too. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. That's for my nose, for my sinuses. Vacuum.
Yeah. 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 Come here. Yeah. You can sit with daddy. Come on. Give me a hug. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see.